I just moved into my classic double and Dykstra haul and when I walked in the room I literally almost screamed because it was a lot smaller than what I was expecting like last year um, as a freshman I was in a classic double in Reber Hall and I think the reason why Dykstra seems so cramped is because the desks are wider and you know that's a great thing for you to like um, like spread your stuff and work but that means that there's a smaller gap between the desk and the window and that's the space where I put my hamper last year and now it's not fitting so hopefully I can find a new function for that space soon I don't know um, but I think that what I'm most disappointed by this is the fact that a tree is like right in front of our window like literally any other room would have had a view of Westwood but ours is blocked by a tree um, I'm pretty disappointed by that because last year um, in Reber Hall I had a really nice view of like campus and I thought Dykstra would be an upgrade but it's I don't know if it is the bathrooms in Dykstra are definitely an upgrade um, last year in Reber Hall they were not this nice and they're just so pretty <laughs> so this actually really brightened my day and I'm gonna show you the showers which are also just like really new and you know what let's let's go into one um, there's some place to put all your belongings and, you know, the actual shower. So, this is like, this is turning out well. <laughs> I've been feeling kind of down isolated because like I moved in at 11 a.m. and my roommate isn't moving in until 11 p.m. just because like she's from the Bay Area and hit some traffic. I've pretty much been by myself like I met up with like one friend but most of my friends still haven't moved in um, because school starts next Thursday right now it's Friday. I think it's just being in a new environment to where I mean I've seen people on my floor like sort of just walking around but it feels kind of awkward and like I don't know if I want to put in the effort to say hi to new people or um, like really try to get them to know them now not when like not everyone has moved in you know I, like, I don't know if that's worth it but at the same time it's weird because I definitely do consider myself like extroverted <laughs> <laughs> did your mommy start talking like right now yeah oh, I thought you were gonna like, can you, can you start Hi, I'm Eric. It's like really bright on my screen. <laughs> I know, but that's the best way because lighting is bad. Yeah, right? Hey everyone, I drank out of my hydro flask for the first time today, and I just want to make sure that it doesn't get stolen at UCLA, so I'm going to decorate it with some stickers and hopefully accumulate some more that I can put on. Mm. I think I'm going to start with this one. It's just really cute. It has like a rainbow. Something shooting rainbows out of it. Wait, is it actually your first time drinking out of your hydro flask? Yeah, no, I, I bought this in July during the July 4th sale, but I don't really, like, sometimes I'll buy nice things, but I don't actually use them. They're just nice. But um, since I was moving in, I knew that I would eventually use my hydro flask, so I filled it with water today. Well they're just stickers. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not good at playing anything without it either. Okay, I remember this one time when um, we had dance practice, like, at a park, and then you wore, like, a denim jacket, okay. earrings, and okay. black ripped jeans, and I was like, are you going somewhere? And then you were like, no. See, see maybe that's a bit much, but okay, but for just, like, school? Were you that's wearing earrings? Just. I always wear earrings. Earrings dress what? like any outfit up. Well, sometimes I, I, like most of the time I don't even put anything on them. It's just like the feet, like the little silver like ring. I mean, but so compared to other people at school, so I only have four right now, but hopefully we can find some more. I don't know why I'm saying this to you. I feel, I don't know where it's this to look. You don't have to talk to me. I can see you. Hello! Hi! 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 Hi!
Yeah. Like, what is this? Dude, okay, let me explain. It's a, it's a social umbrella. <laughs> Cause like, you know, there's always a time when like someone else forgot their umbrella. So you have like a social umbrella. <laughs> So you, that's how you make friends. Yeah, that's how I make friends with the strangers. <laughs> I did not see this last year. <laughs> no, well, because it rained, like, twice. <laughs> but, like, yeah, it's a social umbrella. <laughs> Dude, there's this one time when I was walking to class with my headphones in, and it was, like, supposed to be, like, 80 degrees. Did it start pouring? It started pouring. I literally and I, came on that Like, happens. I felt a raindrop on my head, and I was like... What is happening? And I looked up, and all this shit just starts coming down. And yeah. just ran. But I mean, feel like that's California, though. Did that happen in Orange, Orange County or, like, never? Uh, no. Orange County weather is very predictable. Really? Oh. Yeah. Where I live in the Bay, like, it's... Like, it's really unpredictable. But the Bay's in the Bay. Like, like the in Bay two, rains. But, like, in two consecutive days, it was, like, 90 sunny, and then it was, like, literally 60 and, like, raining. Jackets. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Look at this. This isn't this like amazing? Dude. What do you think? Ooh. Thoughts? Spicy. <laughs> it's hella spicy. I also feel like I'm gonna like tear up my arms. But it was like cute enough that I didn't care. I know. It, it looks, looks so like Christmas good. and happiness and that makes me happy. So Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a hammer. Oh my god. Actually, wait, this is working. Is it working? Yeah, that's actually working. Wait, show 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 what it is. Oh my god. It's a hey, oh my god. nice life. Dude, you got it like legit in. <laughs> That's like hella cool. I think it's, I did it at a, a bad angle though. I think Is I'm... it, wait, pull on it a little bit. Oh, it totally works. Yeah. That's I think awesome. I okay. this in at a bad angle though. It's fine, honestly. I don't know how we're gonna pull it out, but whatever. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, it's been three weeks since we last filmed that video of me hammering a nail into our wall and we actually decided to stay in Dykstra because um, we figured out to, how to make the curtains stay there and that's because we shifted the bed forward which made room for my hamper so that's all good and it turns out the tree in front was pretty convenient because like we live on the sunny side of Dykstra apparently and a lot of people have been saying that the rooms have been like really hot but we realized that ours wasn't because of the tree, so I mean, I guess that's Go nice. Okay. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna do a quick room scan. This is Anna's side. Lots of glowing lights. A lot though. of lights. <laughs> <laughs> we love lights if you haven't seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, so then that's like, oh gosh, I'm so bad at filming. Okay, let's go to my side. And that's just a lot of artsy stuff. Um, yeah, we'll do a more thorough room tour later because this is a moving vlog and we really wanted to finish this by today because it is Wednesday and uh, on, on Wednesdays, Wednesdays we were pink. pink. <laughs> okay, um, I hope to see you around and thanks for watching.